is going on? Gun is live. Coming at you with another Clash Royale video here on my channel. It's been a long time since I showed you all any Clash gameplay because I could not find a screen recording software for my phone that worked. Because the original one that I had, it stopped working. They never fixed it. And then yesterday, I finally found a new app that records my screen. So I'm able to show you all some Clash Royale gameplay here once again on my channel. Just because I haven't been uploading any videos doesn't mean I haven't been playing. I've been on that grind and right now I currently have four legendary cards and in all three of these battles I'm about to show you I end up using all four of those legendary cards along with a few others. So you can see I already have two legendaries down on the field. I have the Inferno Dragon and the Miner both trying to push the left hand lane. I sent the Miner towards my first left tower thinking maybe it'll eat the shots and the Inferno Dragon to sneak down lock on and then blow up the tower but that is not the case here at least at this point in the video. It does happen later on because that is one of my main strategies with that in front of Dragon. Try to get into the quack tower as quickly as possible so that it can lock on and then just completely incinerate. I've gone ahead and dropped down the Lava Hound. Now sometimes I use the Lava Hound and then I use minions behind it but because I only had a few cards in this deck besides all of my legendaries I did not choose minions as any of my cards. But my opponent they actually have two legendaries down on the field of their own right now. They have the Princess and then they have the Electro Wizard. As you can see I'm pretty much losing this battle like pretty bad right now. I'm basically going to be down not two towers to zero because I still have 12 health left on my left tower but I'm basically down like two to zero right now. If that, that's like the way I was going through my hell number I was playing this battle. And as you can see I'm able to take out the right tower because the Lava Hound is eating the shots for all of my other troops that followed her behind it. Now in the left lane, the Inferno Dragon finally locks onto that tower and I'm able to take it out. So at this point, I'm pushing my opponent's King Tower. Now we're basically tied two to two. Whichever one of us kills the other opponent's King Tower first is going to win the battle. And it is all but over here for this match because my opponent's tower is down to 1,019 health. During the battle, I didn't know that they actually had that Sparky Legendary in their deck because they never actually used it. But had they used that, they may have been able to sneak up to one of my towers and dealt a lot of damage. At this point, they're pushing my tower, but it's not a big deal. I'm just going to keep pushing towards their King Tower. Just rush it, rush it, rush it over and over and over. You see the Electro Wizard end up taking out those Lava Pups. But now I drop down two Legendaries. I've got the Inferno Dragon and the Miner. So the Miner is going to be the one to actually clean up the tower. Maybe it was the Wizard of the Spear Dom to help it out. But yep, there you have it. My first victory using four legendaries here in this video. Load up into another game and once again, my opponent has a princess. So let me go ahead and drop it early on here in the match. I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and drop my Lava Hound. That way this princess cannot shoot my tower. And then my Lava Hound can like eat the shots and also start a push for me down the left hand lane. So my opponent can end up dropping down a wizard which is going to do a lot of damage to my Lava Hound. I ended up dropping the Inferno Dragon and then I did not know my opponent had this graveyard spell. So they're going to be a bunch of skeletons. My Lava Hound isn't going to be doing or my baby dragon part of my Inferno Dragon, pardon me, my Inferno Dragon isn't going to be able to push towards my opponent's tower because it's going to keep on locking onto those skeletons and eventually gets taken down. So my initial push and my opponent's initial push, nothing happens. So now we're basically at a standstill. We're going to have to push their base later on in the game in order to get the win. They're going to try a similar push now. You can see that they're printed down in the battlefield once again. And then this time, I'm going to go ahead and drop down the Valkyrie. I didn't want to drop down the Lava Hound right away. I'm going to save it for a little later on in this match as in right now because I just dropped it down but basically I'm gonna have the Valkyrie pushing in case my opponent just tries to drop down that graveyard spell my Valkyrie can kill all those skeletons and I use the hog rider to push my Valkyrie to my opponent's tower I send the miner to take out the wizard and now I have a bunch of troops attacking my opponent's left tower I executed that attack perfectly I basically learned from what my opponent did to counter my attack the first time and then I countered their counter the second time by sending different troops in order to take out that left tower. So at this point, my left tower has about half health left. My opponent has two legendaries down on the field. They have their Ice Wizard and their Princess. It's going to be easy for me to take out both of those troops by dropping down my Valkyrie. She is going to be slowed here because the Ice Wizard is blasting her. But at this point, all I got to do is push onto my opponent's King Tower in order to get the win. I go ahead and drop down this Lava Hound in the middle of the map so I can push the right tower. And you see both towers actually lock onto my Lava Hound. I actually have my left tower fall here. I did drop a few Spear Goblins trying to play some defense. But at this point, I'm like, you know what? 
my lava hounds eaten all the shots from both of my opponent's towers. Let me go ahead and send as many troops as possible to my opponent's king tower. And once again, I'm able to get my inferno dragon to lock onto the tower. The tower is also being hit by two other legendaries besides the inferno dragon, the miner and the ice wizard. And then the hog rider doesn't quite get there before the tower falls. So your boy has two wins here in this video. Now we're going to hop into the third and final match of this video. So this was a very quick game. My opponent, they dropped the baby dragon down at the start, okay? I'm going to go ahead and drop down, I believe, my wizard. So now I'm going to have my wizard and my tower shooting at the baby dragon. My opponent, I don't know why they dropped those fire spirits on the right side of the map. It doesn't make any sense. I'm going to take out two of them and then only one of them hits my tower. But at this point, once I saw that their golem was down, I was like, you know what? That's nine elixir. So I'm going to go ahead and send my lava hound. It's going to eat the shots from the tower. Then I'm going to have my miner hitting the tower. Then my opponent, they choke a spell. They were trying to draw my troops closer to the king tower in order to activate it, but they failed miserably. I'm going to go ahead and drop down the inferno dragon. Now it's going to eliminate that golem really, really quickly. I still have my wizard down, and basically at this point, my opponent has given up. They know they're about to get dominated. I'm just going to go ahead and push this left lane, take out the left tower, and push on the king tower for the victory. My opponent didn't drop any more troops. They know what happened. Your boy destroyed him. So that's going to be here for this Clash Royale video once again on my channel. I'm going to be trying to upload some more as long as the screen recording software that I found keeps on working. But that's going to do it for now. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. New videos are going to help my channel. I'm going to just like. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video tonight or another video. Maybe you should just leave. Just leave. Just leave.